All right, uh, so today I want to cover the changes that have happened in 426. Just the little things that weren't necessarily announced that I've, you know, played around with and found. Uh, so here we go. Okay, so first up, there is now, uh, they've removed the virtual texture material domain. I don't know if that's just a change in how they're doing stuff. Another thing that's happened is variable rate shading has been exposed to materials. So you can actually control on platforms that support variable rate shading, how it's actually gonna work. Uh, at the moment, like I personally don't know that much about it, so I'm not gonna just be like, ah, yeah, you'll see. But it has been exposed. Uh, but yeah, so that's a nice little change, uh, especially with next gen and everything coming. Uh, also, last thing in materials, they added, uh, just in all of the previews, is landscape physical material output. And this is to go along with the new physical material settings here. I haven't actually looked into this to see if you can make this work where we can actually use a physical material mask stuff, but... I guess, well, it's something to look up to, look forward to. So I imagine you would put, like, say, your uh, physical, you would put your, uh, like, landscape sample here, uh, like you do the grass, or at least that's what it looks like. I'm unsure because, obviously, we've had these settings in here for a mask and a, uh, and now these physical material mask things. So that is something I'm waiting for. Uh, but I th thought I'd still point this out because someone might know more than me on how to set it up. Uh, and then also, it's something to look forward to when the docs come out if this is completed by then. Another new thing that's been added, um, I forgot what the plugin is called, let me, I believe it is TRS. So they have this new TRS gizmos as a plugin, but it seems like gizmos are being made to be more like separated, where like maybe we could possibly make our own or something, but we can now shift between two different gizmos by hitting control D. Uh, if that is enabled, as you can see here, uh, we can go between the two as we see fit. I thought that would be a nice little thing to point out. Not sure where exactly it's going, but there you go. There's also been a update to the modeling tool. So the modeling editing mode, uh, that's how you get to it. Modes modeling. Once you enable that plugin, uh, is they've now added a hair tab. I imagine this is for the groom hair or something like that. I'm not one to, I don't have hair to test on, so I can't really do anything, but I'm, there's some hair helmet tool. I'm not sure. And then, so it seems like there's some tools to edit your actual hair cards in the editor. I think I might've just froze the editor by hitting that button. I didn't mean to. Um, and then you can generate hair LODs as well. Uh, so I thought that was a nice little addition for the people that are using the groom tools or just hair in general. We'll see how this turns out. All right, lastly, I wanted to just cover some things that I'm going to be hopefully making some videos on. Uh, this is the paint clouds level that is now included in the volumetric. Uh, it's been included since last preview, or at least working. I should say, uh, for me, I was having some crash issues, uh, and it basically, it's really nice. I want to do it, so my own video on it, uh, but I just wanted to kind of tease at it. Um, it's pretty cool. So that will be all for today's video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't yet already, please subscribe. It helps, uh, you know, this video get seen by more people and all that. YouTube loves algorithms. So when you don't subscribe, they cry. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, anyways, I uh, hope this was helpful. It, I just kind of wanted to show the little hidden tidbits that I've seen so far. Uh, there might be more, but that's what I wanted to do. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the end. You made it.